you know, what we're trying to do is, um, is try to figure out how we can make the system better. It is, it is tough. You know, I hope everybody in here had a, had a childhood where you, you were raised by your parents or by people that loved you and cared for you and helped nurture you and, and, and led to, to the success that has you sitting in these chairs today. Uh, but there are a lot of kids out there that aren't as lucky. And uh, um, earlier today as I was listening to other, there's no doubt in my mind that some of the kids that are in foster care either had some mental health care issue or suffered some trauma or some, some event in their life that affected them, affected them mentally and, uh, and will affect them for a long, long time, if not for the rest of their lives. So it, it is, um, you know, the challenge for us is to try to see if we can take the responsibility that the state has, uh, has decided to many years ago to take and that we as a society have decided that we wanted to embrace, and that is to try to help these kids that fall in that category. Well, the really important thing is, is to break down the silos. I'm a huge fan of prevention. Uh, if we identify mental health issues early on, we can prevent child abuse and neglect and prevent them from ever coming into the system. We've got a lot of resources in Texas, uh, both private and public, uh, but what, what you find is sometimes we just don't access those resources. So I always say that child welfare is not just the job of the Child Welfare Agency, it is the community's job. And so on our prevention efforts, we're partnering with the communities. We're going in the communities and saying, what are your issues and how can we partner with you and other nonprofits in your community to address child abuse and neglect. So it's critically important that we collaborate. There's opportunity to look at integrated health um, projects now where we can have physical health and mental health and substance abuse, you know, that we can look at that collectively, you know, as a group. So those projects are, are very, very meaningful. We've got a lot of children in the state of Texas, seven million, um, a significant percentage, very small percentage, but a lot of children 28,000 children in foster care on any given day, and we have to work to address those children's needs to help them become productive citizens. The, the odd thing about medicine right now is that it's easier for me to take care of a child who I think has leukemia than it is for a child who presents with early signs of mental illness. It should never be able to be easier for me to do that for a child with leukemia. Mental health is as precious as the other child with leukemia. And to hear you all say that mental health sounds difficult, that's, that's my priority now for this year because it's very simple to take good care of children and families' mental health. We already know what works. There's lots of evidence. Lots of you have great experiences. And it's just a matter of making a commitment to make mental health that simple.